What we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Haley Randall here. Welcome to my channel where I discuss a wide variety of fitness and powerlifting related topics. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Um, so today I am going to um, be kind of vlogging throughout the morning, um, but vlogging with a purpose, I guess. Um, I want to start doing um, a little series, like a little mini series on becoming a morning person. Um, that's why it's so early. Um, cause basically, um, come August 6th, I'm going to be starting my first real big kid nine to five, um, job because I'll be done school at the end of this year. Um, so I start my job in August and at that point I'm really going to have no choice but to be a morning person and um, I always used to be um, someone who liked getting up really early um, and getting to bed on time but because in law school in second and third year like most of my classes were like late night classes um, I've kind of fallen out of that habit so I'm gonna be trying to I guess become a morning person um, and I'm going to be implementing a few different strategies and tips, so I figured I would go through those with you guys and kind of see how it ends up working out. Um, so the first thing, um, I'm going to talk about two different things that I have already started implementing um, for the last couple weeks that have really helped. So the first thing that I've been doing um, and I haven't been perfect with this, but I have been making an effort and I will probably get better at it as time goes on, is to do something active right in the morning. So I don't do my actual workouts right in the morning because I need um, Derek with me for those and he works nights and yeah, it's not going to happen. So um, instead, like I try to do my cardio first thing in the morning or maybe take the dogs for a walk, not lately because... Like, I don't think the dogs want to go for a walk in that. Just saying. Um, but, you know, I don't even know if you guys can see that or not, to be honest. But, yeah, something. So, something. Um, and that kind of brings me to something else fun in this that I'm going to do in this video. So, this morning for my Something Active, I saw, I was tagged in, like, this thing on Instagram. Like, at least, like, ten different people tagged me saying, please do this with your dogs. Um, it's the Squat Your Dog Challenge. My babies are... <laughs> like 10 pounds each uh, I do not know why that just happened <laughs> but yeah so my dogs are like 10 pounds each so um, I'm gonna squat both of them for reps because obviously squatting 25 pounds is not much of a challenge. Um, I'm gonna get going with that because the dogs are obviously like super pumped for this so give that a roll and then after that I will talk about the other thing that I've been doing to become a morning person. What we do here is go back, 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 back.
40 reps of dog squatting. <laughs> Did we have fun, guys? Like, literally zero fucks given by these guys. <laughs> Hey Benji, did you have fun? They do not care. <laughs> okay, so I'm all done squatting my dogs, made it to 40 reps. Um, it was pretty fun. They, I think, had fun too. Um, so that will be, see it like I already, like getting your heart rate up like that, even if it's just something like really quick, like going for a quick little walk or walking on the treadmill or squatting your dogs, cause that's normal. Um, no matter what it is, if you start your day off with something like pretty active, then it wakes you up. Um, that's kind of just like common sense. Like, I feel like the people who actually do get up in the morning and go to the gym first thing, like they're probably like the most awake out of like anyone, and they probably are very productive. Um, that's not an option for me yet. I hope like maybe someday, like I would love to like switch over to doing my training in the morning before work. Um, once I'm adulting and working a normal nine to five job, but we'll see if that happens. But even still like getting in the habit of doing something active when you first wake up, um, I think that will go a long way into making me into a morning person, especially once it's a habit. So even if I wake up and I feel like just like laying in bed for longer or not doing it, I just get up right away, do it. And once you've done it, you're awake. So, um, that's the first thing that I've kind of been trying to implement to turn myself into a morning person. Um, the second thing, and this is one that's like, doesn't seem to be as like common, I guess, because a lot of people are active when they first wake up if they are a morning person or are trying to become a morning person. Um, but the second thing that I've found helps me is to like give myself something to look forward to when I first get out of bed. So like, for example, before I started trying to do this, um, I would usually go get my coffee on my way to school or work. You guys have seen me in my daily vlogs on the Tim Hortons drive through line. Um, so part of my day was always kind of like, you know, get up, get ready, then go get my coffee on my way to school or work. Um, and just making the simple change of like having my coffee at home. So like, you know, I, I've always had a Keurig machine. I just didn't use it. Um, so making sure that I like actually have coffee and like creamer at home um, so I can have my coffee here. It makes a world of a difference because then when my alarm first goes off, like the first thing I think is like, oh, if I get up right now, I get to like immediately go have a coffee and like go have my breakfast, which is going to be delicious as opposed to the as opposed to before where I wasn't really eating breakfast. Um, so it's like, I don't know, like for me, like food is like <laughs> a very strong motivator. So knowing like all I have to do is get out of bed and I will be rewarded with delicious coffee and a delicious breakfast. Um, it honestly like goes miles for me to like, just for that initial little like burst of motivation to get out of bed and get going. So that's the second thing that I wanted to talk about today, and I will show you guys what I've been having for breakfast um, lately, because it's so delicious. Like, if you were having this for breakfast, <laughs> you would run out of bed to go eat it. So I'm going to show you guys that, and that will be the two tips. That will be the two tips that I'm going to talk about in this first little segment of becoming a morning person. What we do here is go back, 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 back. So you guys just saw my delicious breakfast. I've been having this probably like 90% of the mornings um, since I started my new meal plan. Um, I love it. Um, so it was just very simple. Cottage cheese, uh, berries. I switch up the types of berries as strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, um, just to give a little bit of variety. 
and then some sort of like natural nut butter and I switch between peanut butter and almond butter again so that like there's some variety to it. Um, it takes literally like three seconds to make and then it is fire. So good. So good. So anyways guys, um, thank you for watching. I hope that this was semi-helpful to any of you who are attempting to become morning people or you know have already been waking up early in the morning and just want that little bit of extra help with it. Um, if you guys have any tips, if you're already like seasoned morning people and you have any tips that I should try in future editions um, in my quest to become a morning person, please comment them down below and share because I would love to hear them because I've got about five months and then sink or swim, I'm going to be a morning person. I can be a miserable one or I can be a happy one and I'd prefer to be a happy one. So yeah, help me out. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching guys. I'll talk